Hi everyone, glory to Jesus Christ. So it is now Holy Tuesday morning. It's like about quarter four in the morning on Holy Tuesday 2014. And I am on a roll making book review videos because I figured, you know what, so somebody uh, poked me and said, hey, what are those books? And so I thought, well, those aren't books, but these are. So let's talk about some books that I think are useful for, you know, various reasons and various people. So first off, I'm going to try to get through two of them in a single video. And this is um, Living Without Hypocrisy, The Spiritual Councils of the Elders of Uptino Monastery. Now, the Uptino Monastery was one of the great cent centers of Russian Orthodox uh, spirituality and spiritual wisdom and spiritual fatherhood before the Iron Curtain came crashing down. Uh, and this book is just, look, do you see how it's like little snippets? So it's not a single, um, it's not even divided into chapters. It's little sayings, you know, little nuggets. And they're organized in alphabetical order by the topic. So for example, blessedness, the battle with lust, wealth, knowledge of God, divine services, Mercy, arrogance, remembrance of wrongs, faint-heartedness, spiritual warfare, love of neighbor, faith, uh, the secular world, insensitivity, disbelief, condemnation, despair. I mean, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of topics. And so they're just little one or two sentence sayings. And they're amazing. Every time I open this book, I learn something. And a lot of times, every time I open this book, I get convicted of something that I'm doing wrong. But that is really the mark of, you know, somebody who is spiritually wise. When they can tell you what you're doing wrong. <laughs> so, I try to... I, I try to gravitate toward those passages rather than doing what I want to do, which is close the book and run away and sin some more. Um, but extremely helpful. How much did I pay for this? $18. Hardcover. Um, print Shop of St. Jove of Petraev Press. I'll put it in the notes. But if you don't have this, even if you aren't Orthodox, if you're Orthodox, you might already have this. I don't care what you are. If you are a Christian or you think you might want to be a Christian, get it. Really, really good. You know, I tell people all the time in the prison, I say, if there are any Christian you know, missionaries who come in here to the prison are really, that, that you need anywhere. But the problem is really bad in prisons. If they come in here and they try to get you to feel good about yourself, run away. Do not walk. Run away. Because that person, not coming from God. Even if they think they are, they are not. So this is like some, like, divine tough love here. You know, get over yourself and stop sinning kind of stuff. But it's said with this incredible gentleness and compassion and tact. So it, when I read this, I don't feel judged in the, you know, negative human sense. But, you know, I say, okay, God, thanks. I needed a reality check. I need a lot of reality checks. Okay, next one. This is volume four. I think there are only four volumes. I'm not quite sure. This is called the Philokalia. Now, again, if you're Orthodox, you already know this. The Philokalia is a huge collection of sayings and writings on all kind of topics pertaining to the spiritual life that were written between the 4th century and the 5th century. Um, they were first published in Greek in 1782 and then eventually published in other languages. So this is, of course, an English language edition published by... Are you going to tell me what your publisher is book? Yes, Faber and Faber. Soft cover. Believe it or not, I got this at Barnes & Noble. I couldn't believe it. It was one of the first Orthodox books I got. And this is not something you're going to read in a day or two. Not only is it extremely dense, but more importantly than that, this is a book that you spend your whole life on. You know, you come back to it, and you come back to it, and you come back to it again. You talk to your priest about it. You talk to your friends at church about it. This is... This is really serious theology here. Um, there are four volumes, possibly five, and I believe that even at this point, there are still additional parts of the Philokalia that have not been translated into English. I could be wrong about that. I bought this in like 2005, so it's been a while. It's been nine years. and um, I don't know. Google it. See if it's a thing. Philokalia, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. If you are in any way curious about the Orthodox Church, 
Okay. This is going to give you a real clear sense of the profundity and the complexity of ancient Christianity. And I mean that in a good way. I don't mean complexity as in overwhelmed with earthly rules. What I mean is this is sheer, you know, this is stuff that goes through our, you know, rational dimension and you sense the spiritual truth that just pours out of this. Okay. So if you are, whatever you are, if you haven't read it, I would recommend it, but just give yourself permission to read a few pages at a time. Cause that's, that's all you're going to do. It's all I do. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe if I were a bishop or something, I would be a little bit more astute that way, but I like to just take a nugget at a time and try to, you know, pray about it and think about it and not rush to the end of the book. Cause that's not the point. So, uh, those are my two recommendations for tonight. Um, in terms of where you can find these, most Orthodox Christian books you are not going to be able, unfortunately, to walk into Barnes & Noble and buy. You might be able to go on the website and order them. I usually recommend Amazon.com because you can get them for $5, $10 easily. But glory to God, most English language Orthodox publications are, are not expensive. They're not jacked up to try to make a profit here. So essentially, you're paying cost plus a little bit. So how much did I pay for this? This is $17.95. That's a Barnes & Noble price, though. But anyway, um, there are also several Orthodox publishers and online bookstores that I su super, super recommend. I am going to put that info in the, uh, not the annotations, sorry, blah, 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 ESL, in the video description. That's the word, Daria. Good. <sighs> All right. Anyway, I'm uh, falling asleep here, so I'm going to go. But I hope that was helpful, and I am going to be back in a little bit with Mo Books. So in the meantime, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Please pray for me all the time. Seriously, I need it. Please pray for my friend Andrew. I can really feel, you know, this is interesting. I can really feel that the prayers that people are giving for him are really helping him a little bit with the depression. I really can. So thank you so much. When I say please pray, I mean that. And I also mean it when I say I'm praying for you guys all the time. Okay? So, God bless you all. I will see you in the next video. Toodles!